Welcome back to the How to Make Sushi channel and today you guessed it, we're not making sushi again. So, today I'm going to show you how to make some delicious chocolate ice cream. It's going to be just the ultimate chocolate ice cream. It's going to combine the right amount of milky chocolate with dark chocolate and just a little bit of Nutella because Nutella is awesome. I hope you enjoy this recipe. Let's get straight into it. Let's go. Okay, to start I'm going to put a pan on low heat so the chocolate melts nice and slowly. And I'm going to add 300 milliliters of whole milk, followed by 75 grams of Cadbury milk chocolate, and 45 grams of Lindt 52% chocolate, a little bit darker chocolate there. And I'm going to add 200 grams of Nutella. Now this can get a bit sticky, so you might need a spoon or something to get it off the spatula but then you get two things dirty, so just do your best to get it all out of there. Then I'm gonna remove some more of the chocolate out of the bowl here, and then just try to get it off the spatula however I can. Okay, moving on. Now you wanna add 27 grams of sugar, followed by one gram of salt. Okay, there we go. And now you're gonna to want to let it slowly warm up. You don't want to bring the milk to a boil. You just want it to slowly warm up and melt the chocolate. And once it starts to melt, then you just wanna whisk it through and remove it from the heat. So here it's just starting to warm up a little bit. And at this point, I'm just going to try to whisk it. The chocolate is giving way. So it's, I think it's hot enough at this stage. And I'm just going to turn off that heat. Yeah. Okay, now just whisk it a little bit more. And if you want, you can remove it from the heat at this stage and just keep whisking it on a wood surface like this. Okay, great. Now, once it's whisked thoroughly enough, you're gonna to want to pour it into a beaker and then you're gonna to wanna to cover this up and put it in a fridge to cool down. It needs to cool down nice and cold, so I'll leave it for one to two hours. All right, so once your chocolate mixture is cooled down, you wanna add 240 milliliters of cream, followed by two egg yolks, pasteurized egg yolks, that is. You can make them yourself or buy them in the grocery store. Pasteurized just basically means that the egg yolks being heated to a certain point where it kills salmonella virus and anything that can um, affect you badly if you do raw. Okay, so after that, you want to blend the ingredients together till they become a nice uniform color like this. Okay, just remove the blender thing. And then you want to place it in the fridge again to cool down some more, just in case it heated up uh, for at least an hour. Just place some cling film over it and cool it down. And then you can place it into your ice cream machine. I've got the, the Longhi Gelatio here, and I have to do it in two batches since this machine can only take about 600 milliliters of liquid at one time. So I'm just gonna pour it in and then turn it on. It's a very simple machine to run. It just takes about 20 minutes to make your ice cream and you can usually hear by the sound when it's ready. When it starts to churn slower, that's when it's, uh, it's more harder for the machine to do it. So it makes a different sound. Okay, so here I'm just gonna let it churn and after about 10 minutes of churning, it'll start to look like this, which is sort of like a slushy. And then 10 minutes after that, it'll start to look a little bit more like this. And at this point, it'll basically be done. So here I'm just gonna pull it out and then I can scoop it over into my storing container. Now I've placed this very nice black styrofoam uh, box in the freezer beforehand so that it's nice and cold. So when I take my ice cream out, it meets another cold surface and it doesn't start to melt directly because it's a very, very, very um, not frozen so it's like half frozen so as soon as it heats up a little bit it'll start to melt so you have to act very quickly to scoop it out as fast as you can and you have to put it into a container that's already frozen a little bit too so that you don't get liquidy mess okay so as you can see here i've nearly finished just gotta remove this take as much as you can out of it okay and just get that last little bit out of that bowl now, as you can see, the top surface here is already a little bit melty, so I have to get it into that freezer straight away. So just quickly smooth it out, and then just place the lid on it and put it in the freezer at least for an hour, just to 
harden up a little bit more. Now you don't need to set an ice cream like this for 24 hours. After about one to two hours, it's already set enough, if you ask me. And you can just enjoy it, as I will right now. This beautiful chocolate ice cream. Mm. Okay, so there we go. Now you know how to make a truly delicious chocolate ice cream. Give this a try at home. If you need a machine, check out the one I used in this video. I'll link it in the description below. And uh, if you want to know how to make matcha ice cream, I also made a video for that. Check it out here. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Goodbye.